When Old Note fell out of a $4 picture frame, he didn't expect it to change his life forever. Michael Sparks was no novice when it came to finding great buys in thrift stores. In fact, he frequented small and big stores around the country and had found an assortment of goodies that he began collecting. Some were useful items around the house and some just for their beauty. He bought the frame and awful picture for four bucks. He thought it would look great in his living room, but it wasn't to be. Upon arriving back home, he unloaded the few items he had purchased at various different stalls and brought them inside to have a better look at them. He was disappointed that the frame was not the beautiful old wood he thought it was, but just a plastic frame made to look like old wood. He was about to toss it when he had another idea. The frame may not have been worthy of hanging in his home, but he was never quite sure about art. The picture in the frame was a dreary and dark depiction of a country scene, not his taste at all, but who knew what it may be worth if he could find out if it was an original painting from an obscure artist. He began to carefully prize the back of the frame, no longer worried about damaging the frame, of course, but just in case the painting was something after all. He lifted the heavy card holder off and stared in disbelief at what lay beneath it. He wasn't expecting anything else to be hidden inside, but there was a piece of old, heavy paper folded neatly inside. The paper was folded with its contents hidden, and he tentatively reached in to remove it from its protective casing. It felt heavy in his hands. Heavier than paper made these days, that was his first clue. He just didn't know it yet. He carefully began unfolding the parchment to reveal what was hidden inside. As he straightened out the last neat fold creasing the paper, he got a look at some very beautiful script. It couldn't be mistaken for anything other than the Declaration of Independence. Mike was baffled as to why someone would store a print of the Declaration of Independence behind a dreary painting, so he switched on another light and sat down to take a better look. After looking at his purchase for a few days, he thought the print might actually be a little older than he originally thought. I've seen Declarations of Independence in thrift stores before, said Sparks. This one was so beautiful I thought it was an engraving. I look for things that have quality to them. What he did next would change his life forever. The suspicion that the document was older than he first assumed led him to start researching about it on the internet. What he learned blew his mind. He was holding in his hand one of only 200 original authentic copies of the document. What was even more astounding was that there are only 36 copies known to be in existence today. They needed to get this appraised, right now. His head was spinning, and he was thankful that he was already sitting down, or he was sure he would have fallen right over from shock, when the Rainer's Historical Collectible Auction in North Carolina told him what it was worth. A whopping $250,000. To anyone, that's a life-changing amount of money. He couldn't even begin to think of what to do next, but that would all fall into place quite neatly. He was soon in touch with Rayner's Historical Collectible Auction, a prestigious auctioneer that promised to start the bidding for the historical piece at the evaluated price of $250,000. But nobody foresaw the incredible developments that were about to take place when the auction began. There were some very serious bidders, each wanting the piece of living history to be added to their companies. The auctioneer began by opening the item for bidding, describing it in its full glory. This is a copy that John Quincy Adams commissioned William Stone to make in 1820, he began. He didn't get much further before a bid for the full amount was made, followed by another much higher amount, and another, and then another. Michael sold the artifact through Rayner's Historical Collectible Auction for $477,650 to break on. The price was more than he or anyone else involved could have imagined. I was delighted, said Raynor. I assumed it would sell for $300,000 to an institution. We broke a world record. Michael was beside himself, his head reeling. They removed the document from a canvas carrier, moisturized it, and removed the varnish from the face, said Bob Raynor, president of the historical collectible auction. Because of the varnishing, the ink remained dark. And because of the dark ink, this copy is one of the best preserved of its kind. Braycon, the Utah investment firm that purchased the declaration, went on to say, at first, we set a limit of $350,000, said Corey Ann Kerwick, the marketing director for Braycon. We wanted it bad enough that we were going to keep bidding until we outbid them. But why exactly would an investment firm of all places want a copy of the Declaration of Independence and pay almost half a million dollars for it? 
It's symbolism for how we operate the country, said Kerwick. The principles that have brought our country success have also given us unparalleled success. The plan is to educate children in the area on the Founding Fathers. A staff member and former teacher will coordinate field trips with different schools so children can see what founded the land of the free. The declaration is one of two copies found west of the Mississippi, with Braycon being the only U.S. company to own one. Most of the other copies belong to private collectors and to the government. And after the days of suddenly having so much money wore off, just what did Michael do with his fortune? Well, Michael decided to spend his cash on some creature comforts, such as a brand new car and building a sunroom onto his house. But not all the money went to luxury items. Michael also gave assistance to his elderly parents, and a tenth of all the money went to his church.